Hello, my peeps. <laughs> Tracy here again. This is kit number three. So we had the July paper pumpkin, and then this is the second of the two kits that were released for July. And I realize it's almost the end of the month, and in about two months, two weeks, I'm going to have a whole thing again. But I'll try to do them quicker next time. Just having a busy week. So this kit, I would love to tell you, but I've forgotten the name of, so we have to wait till I flip it over. It has a misty moony, misty moonlight spot. That's hard for me to say. Uh, the stamp set says, you are the best. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. And it has a nice little spray. Now, here's the thing. I saw this. The other kit is a non-stamping kit. And I saw this kit, and I thought, ooh, and this one's the stamping kit. But then I was looking at a, I don't know, a picture of something. I don't even know where I saw the picture. And I think this kit actually has stamping plus printed sentiments. So, very excited to see if I am in fact correct um, but I haven't opened it yet so I don't actually know okay we're going to oops we're going to okay I thought I, thought I cut the end of the cardstock okay and this kit once I flip this over now is called garden of thanks I could have said it was pretty flowers but I knew that wasn't the actual name of the kit just what the kit is pretty flowers Okay, so Garden of Thanks. Oops, there's a little thing hide underneath. Oh, look at that. Oh, Stampin' Up! is just upping their game all over the place. So, with the kit collection, um, I think a lot of the kits, I don't know if every single one, I won't guarantee it, are they doing them in other languages? I know the sentiments, if there's pre-printed pre sentiments, they do them in four languages. But... Um, some of them they're doing this stamp. I think, I think in Canada most of the stamps that, or most of the stuff you can't actually get English or French, but they're adding in um, Dutch. I want to say, could be German. I think it's Dutch. Okay, so this is the, this is the little thing. Let me see if I can get clever with my folding here. Uh, this is the thing that this goes with the stamps, but I'm going to do it like this because then if I ever want to know what the words would be in another language there we go and so this can go with your stamp set so you can more easily see what's what's in the stamp set okay we got because this is a part of the kit collection you get a block we get some adhesives i've got uh, misty moonlight twine i've got some gold sequins i got some blue dots and i got did i say i got a block dimensionals that's the other thing i didn't say uh, I did nick the corner of this a bit, but not enough to like make it unusable. Look at the pretty little detail on the on the flap. Okay, so those envelopes are all the same, but the card bases are different. So, card number one. Just a minute here. Card number one. I usually have a system. I screwed myself up today. Okay, let's put the envelopes over there. Put the rest of the envelopes in the box. Okay, so card number one, again, this one could, you could certainly split it and make two of these awesome backgrounds, but card number one has some gold cross hatching. We'll get to that in a minute. <gasps> look at how pretty that is. Ooh. And so, yeah, look at two, two cards. So not only is this gorgeous flowers, but if I can get just the right angle, see all these lines here that just kind of look black on the thing? They're actually gold. Ooh, and the middles of the flowers are gold. But, oh, there we go. Got to get the right angle. Ooh, that's pretty. Purdy. And then, yep, I was correct. See, because there's other there's other languages here. Oh, and then I like this one. Look at that. Oh, more more bits and pieces. <coughs> Seriously, having coughed for hours, I go to do a video. I cough. Our third card base is similar to the first, only it's tone on tone, misty moonlight. But yeah, any one of these card bases could certainly be split into two cards to make double. Oh, where's my little gold folder? Right there. Okay. I'm just going to fold my cards in half. Get them all lined up and everything. So that, let's move this out of the way, because I'll be, later I'll be going, what did I do with my sequins? So that when I take the little bits and pieces, <laughs> I'll put them in the right spot. 
again I rarely look at the instructions I am looking at the pictures on the on the front of the brochure or the insert or whatever you call that piece um, so that I have an idea what goes with what okay so our and again when we're doing this especially these ones these ones are very fine we're gonna make sure that you stick close to the paper just find the places where it's attached there's gonna be little well, little bits every now and again that are attached and just carefully pop them out so you don't rip them I have ripped many in my day but I'm trying to get better at this I'm supposed to be a professional after all I should be able to get the paper out without ripping it I should be able to open the envelope or open the package without cutting the envelope too but hey you know what happens and Got all sorts of little bits and pieces in there and where's this one hooked down there okay so we have look at how fine that one is that's she's fine okay so this one goes on my gold card and then we have some nice green leaves they also go on the gold card so yeah these ones just take a little like i said just stick close to the thing and usually you can sometimes just by kind of like putting your your thumbnail where the where the connection is you can just kind of pop them loose so that's it you just want to do it so you don't rip them they go to all the trouble to make such pretty die cuts you don't want to and there we are and somewhere else it's connected there we go so we've got two of those so there's one of those for each card we'll leave this one for a second uh sentiments so we have circle Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. So, um, as with all good kits, there's a couple extra little pieces. So you have four of each of the labels, uh, but oh, this is card's gonna go this way, I guess. But there's only um, three of each card. So you'll have one extra of each of these to either make extra cards or should you make a mistake you can't live with. I can usually live with some mistakes or, <coughs> excuse me, embellish them away or something. Look at this big, pretty picture, it's huge. Uh, also has some gold. Look at the gold accenting on this thing. This one is gorgeous. So this one I think is going on the gold card. Yes. Just trying to get this little little piece out of the middle there. There we go. Because that makes all the difference. <laughs> so put that one there. Uh, this one just has this strip. Because quite honestly, this base is so pretty. Why would you cover that base up? And then this one has this one is that upside down does it matter <laughs> i don't know this way seems like it, the right way to me See, that's the problem with the sentiment i might have to put it down there i think they show the scent well maybe uh you don't want to cover up the pretty <laughs> um okay so then this other one over here that's looking like it's getting cheated because uh, maybe i should move those down a bit because it doesn't have as much stuff on it squish them all in one frame yeah i can um has words so one two three one two one two one two three yeah there's three of each sentiment so we have lieben dank merci thank you okay so whether i can't i can't tell sometimes i can tell sometimes i can't i can't tell if this is german or dutch uh, but whatever three languages or those stamp sets were that is what these three sentiments are. So we have English, French, and either German or Dutch. <laughs> when when there's usually there's four. I don't know why they opted for three on this one, but um, usually there's four. And when there's four, I can usually tell the difference between German and Dutch. Okay, so this card is going to be the a simple one, but look at how gorgeous it is. Okay, we're going to do that one first. So that that's what it was. So some of the the die cut sentiments are these nice big ones. And then, oh, this card is just, like I said, it's simple and it is just beautiful. Okay, we're going to go pop on some, again, the instructions probably say to do this. <laughs> but where does Tracy listen to instructions? The kit, sometimes you can tell what to do just by what's in the kit, right? So this kit has dimensional, so you know you're popping some of this stuff up. Just trying to make it straight. <laughs> there we go and it has glue dots so you know you put glue dots behind something and then 
um, string. So you know that, or string, twine. So you know that somewhere you're getting a bow. So I just realized I missed one on the outside here. So, and I'm just, for the ease of filming, I am using my rolls instead of, I'm using my rolls. <laughs> um, instead of using the, the ones that come in the kit. But the kit does come with them. Okay, so then I have my thank you. I, I glued it to my finger and I'm trying not to rip it. There we go. Love this little, oh, there we are. Oops, I think I need to put that over just to, maybe I'll do it with my left hand so I can actually see where the end of the thing is. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love this card. Jeez, I love it. Now, and here's the thing. You want to replicate cards from a kit? Take a white card base, find a big stamp, do some background stamping on the whole card base, and then if you are so inclined, you could do a little bit of gold embossing over top of it. You could also just flick with gold ink um, or these, uh, I forgot what they're called, just a minute. <laughs> this is the new, uh, they come in a package. I'm gonna take one of the package because it's kind of hard to read in the package. Uh, there's gold, bronze, and silver. Uh, metallic enamel effects. You can use this and you can draw lines and do embellishments and stuff like that. Um, they also come in, what is the other one? Silver, green, and white. What's that one? This one looks gray, but I thought it was, oh, it is green. Is it? A... No, black, red, and white is the other one. Yes, I don't think there's a green. It's black, red, and white. That's what the other one is. So you could do that. You could certainly put like little dots all around and you could add that gold metallic look if you're looking to. Um, in this case, though, we're going to add a little extra gold with, and I like to do this just because I'm trying to show you the proper way to do these, or like what the cards would look like if you bought the kit, just so if you are so inclined to do them properly, and not be like me who can't follow instructions, um, then it would, it would tell you how many um, sequins they've allotted to each card, so you don't run out. I don't know where they put theirs, but I'm putting mine wherever I want because that's how I roll. So each each card is allotted three, in case you're wondering. So they chase it around my desk. There. Oh my goodness! Look at how simple that card was. Just how pretty it is. And then when you get it, it comes in this lovely envelope too. Nice. Okay, number two. Uh, do 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 do. So it looks like only one of them has a bow on it. Was I supposed to stamp something on that one? I don't think I was. Uh, nope. Okay. So it looks like only one of them has a has the bow, but if there was enough of the twine, I could see putting a bow on this one as well. Okay, so take my block, because this one's already out now. Huh? We take our little, our little foliage. Take it off the... <laughs> if you're wondering, what is that noise and why is she struggling? Because um, I'm when, the first time you take them off the, the plastic, sometimes it's a little tougher. And uh, I want to just, you know, blow my way through it. But I don't want to rip them at the same time. So uh, I'm trying not to. So it is showing that we are going to um, put this here. And we're going to have some of the stamping coming out from behind it. So because this is photopolymer, because it's new, mine's green, yes, I am going to just take my little scratch pad, I'm going to ink it up, and I'm going to give it a little, couple little twists, and I'm going to get rid of any kind of coating or manufacturing gunk that might be left on it, just so I get the best image when I want to. Okay, so I, I know where my thing's going to go. Now here's the here's the beauty of this. So I want like just a little bit. So I'm looking. I really am looking close to the edge for this. So I'm gonna stamp one here, and I'm gonna stamp one. Now if you wanted more, because you're gonna cover this up, you could. Oops, that's upside down. <laughs> you could say, oh, you know what? I wanted it just a little bit farther, and you could stamp like this, and it wouldn't matter that it was cockeyed. You wouldn't matter that it was overlapping, because you're gonna cover it. So just make sure that whatever part is showing is good. The rest, it doesn't matter how many um, things. Lots of times when you see background stamping and it looks all nice like this, if you looked underneath like the label or whatever, you'd see it all overlapping. <laughs> it doesn't matter. 
And right there. Yeah. So now when I put this down, I've just got that extra little, extra little zip coming out. I'm going to need that in a minute, but I'm going to close it anyways. I tend to stick my fingers in it and <laughs> make a mess when I don't want to. Um, so, okay. And then I'm going to put some embellishments to pop it up. So even with embellishments, which I guess you can technically see a little bit underneath, even if you overlapped your ink, you wouldn't really notice it. Put that in the center. Um, the one other thing I'm going to do, as I open it back up again, because I knew like 10 seconds after I closed it, I knew I was just going to need it again. I am just going to put like this, because I like stuff stamped on the inside of my cards. I'm just going to give it a little bit of zhush in the corner. Um, I have to go back and do that on the inside card but as much as these two cards are fine this one it doesn't actually have oh i guess it has a little misty moonlight there okay we'll do the same i was gonna say it doesn't have any misty moonlight on it but the sentiment is so i can do the same thing again and if you want there we go. you can stamp off so this is stamped full strength and this one is i stamped on my scratch pad and then stamped so it's just a little bit lighter it's and it's really just personal taste oh my god i cannot get over how pretty that card is certainly cutting those in half and mounting them um, to make the most of that gorgeous gorgeous card is a good idea okay i need a sentiment because this is a long skinny sentiment i'm gonna assume i use the i appreciate you so much sentiment the other ones are round so they will fit on the other label um, there are lots of people that I appreciate though, so I can see this sentiment getting lots of good use. Okay, so I went to put this on, and, and as the smaller the stamp, the harder I find it is to get it straight on the block. So in this case, if I had grid paper down or a glass mat, I would use that. But because I like to just craft on my desk, on my nice wood surface, um, I'm just going to set it down like this. So it's pretty much straight where I want it and then pick it up because that way I'm, I've got a better chance I'm picking it up on the stamp set. Now I'm still, I'm stamping off on my little paper, which is off to the side so you can't see it. But when I go to actually stamp, I'm going to make sure it is straight, but it is a whole lot straighter on the block by doing it that way. I am slightly crooked, but I'm going to go with it. Um, I'm going to have to use glue dots on this one. Sorry, I'm going to do it over here. I, I flipped... I'm actually going to use my stamp. So because I just stamped this, I'm flipping it over on my paper so that if the blue's a little darker, so that if it, um, if, if, if the ink, some of the ink does transfer, it transfers onto my paper instead of my desk. Because then whatever I do next, I will stick in the said ink. You know what? I can't. So I said that earlier. And as soon as I go to put it on the thing and I was just about to drop it, I realized that I was far too crooked. I cannot live with that and I am going to go take my extra one that's in the stamp set <laughs> and try that again. Now because of the, when I stamped it the first time what I thought was completely lined up, um, this side of the stamp was low. So now I'm going to go what I think is completely lined up and then I'm going to raise that just a little bit. Now it's straight. Now I'm okay with it. But I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it on my little paper. Put a little... Um, you could use glue dots, but in this case I have snails, so I'm just doing that. Because it's just as easy. I uh, appreciate you uh, so much. Um, yeah, good thing I didn't go all... Uh, see, again, I'm covering up the pretty flower. I don't... Uh, but I do like it there. I like it in the middle. I just, I don't like that I'm covering up the flower. See, and they have theirs in a little bit further. Well, you know what? I'm going with it. There we go. Because I like the edge detail too, and I don't want it hanging off the edge either. Okay. And then we're going to put some... Oh, see, I was thinking... But see, I need, I need something shiny in the middle. And the funny part is... 
that's where they put their they put one over there oh yeah there we go now i'm happy uh like i said depending on how much of this twine there is um you could actually put like a little bow in there or something too but look how pretty that is oh my label's on crooked oh, i'll just well, let's just see if we can i guess leave all this there we go nice this one a nice little envelope to go with it okay and then the last card this one has our circle stamp so you're the best and thank you are our options I got paper in there. my desk was clean for a day and a half <laughs> and then that was it no more cleaning and we'll do thank you which i think is going to fit in this circle Even it off on the other one before I. This thank you looks like the thank you is in a different stamp set, and I absolutely love this little font. It is the perfect size to go on a card. Um, see, and the reason they have the bow here is it's like it's tying this bow of, or this um, bouquet of flowers, which is really cute. So we are putting. these down like this and then we're putting this over top so it's just kind of sticking out <laughs> and then we're going to put our twine on I don't think I don't think that, um, I don't think, I was going to say, I should have done it differently. I should have put the pieces down and then I should have put the dimensionals over top of them. And then it would have been held in place by the dimensionals, but I didn't do that. So I'm just going to put two pieces of tear and tape and you could use glue dots. You can use dimensionals. You can use whatever. Um, like I said, if you put these down and then you strategically, like, you know how much of them is covered, right? You put it like this. Then it holds it down. These these ones are gonna are gonna hit parts of it, but I didn't actually look how close. So I'm just gonna. If I had been more strategic, it would have worked. But I'm gonna put this like this. Oh my goodness, this is a pretty card, isn't it? And you want to have your stem. I would say no more than like centered, because this little card or little circle thing, sentiment is gonna go here. Okay, so this sentiment is is going to be half on this and half on this. So you want um, dimensionals just on the thank you side. And I'm still going to put two, even though it's a small area. I'm just taking my little border pieces to make two little ones. And then a glue dot. I'm trying to figure out what I do with my glue dots. Um, a glue dot on here, on this side, that will get it to stick where you want it to. Um, oh, this is a pretty, 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 pretty card. So now, we can just put that like that. We're going to take, so if you're not familiar with the instructions, it will tell you here, this, this tells you how to divide all the stuff up, but when you get to the specific instructions for the card, it will tell you that you want 15 inches. And then we have inches and centimeters, like a little ruler running along the edge. So if you don't happen to have any ruler measuring tape, then you could do that. I have one on the front of my desk. I'm going to cough again, sorry. <coughs> okay, I can tell you <laughs> that you do not need 15 inches of twine. Because 15 inches is massive. So let's see how much I cut off. I'm going to make this a proper size. I should have paid attention to what I was, I was like what I was measuring because you want to put a big bow on the front and you want to have some nice little hangy down bits, little tendrils. I don't actually know tails, the tails of the bow, but this is a very good size bow, I think, for this card to go right here. Look at that. It's huge, perfect, and I have. 
six inches left. So it says 15. I'm going to suggest maybe you need nine or 10 because this is a huge amount. We're going to save that and make a smaller ball and something else. Um, so this one, we are going to take our glue dot and just roll it up. Roll it like a booger. Thank you, Diane. Ugh, I've told the story before I know, but it was just one of the funniest things when she did that. Um, with her lovely British accent. We are going to put that there. And we're just going to pop our bow onto it. Pop it at, oops, pop it at an angle of this. There we go. So my loop goes above my thank you. It doesn't block my thank you. So even here, this is this is too long, <laughs> too long with the pieces. Give them a little jush so that they curl on, and then <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I have to cough again. And then we're gonna add. Mm -hmm. I have no idea on the card where they put theirs. You could always look and see where they put theirs. I like to just do things where it seems to balance out the card a little bit. Oh, good Lord, that's a pretty one too. Look at that. Ooh, love it, love it. Okay, oh, and sorry, we forgot our pretty envelope to go with it. There we go, with our nice little. So there you have it. Um, oh, just a minute. It's fine. See, I like to, st I usually stamp on the envelopes as well, but these envelopes already have something on them, so I'm not going to, but I am gonna give um, and if you had a different stamp set, you could. Um, you can also stamp sentiments in the middle. I mean, this one says thank you. You could thank you on the outside, and I appreciate you so much on the inside. You could certainly do that, too. Um, but yeah, I like to put just a little, a little bit of surprise color when you open the envelope. I know some <clears throat> crafters who put, like, layers like this. So this would have, like, a you know misty moonlight layer with a white layer on top and stamping and I don't get that fancy, but I do I'd like to have just a little surprise when you open it. So there you go. What did I say this kit was called? Garden of Thanks. And we have three. <laughs> I was going to try to hold them so I could hold them closer to the camera, but we all know that ain't happening. Look at that. Three a gorgeous cards. And so what did I say you got? You get nine. So this didn't take me very long to make three really pretty cards, did it? And it'll be faster for you because you won't be yammering on and doing what I'm doing. <laughs> right? So look at that. Anybody wants any kits, questions about kits, whatever, you let me know. Kits are fun. I love them. They are great to take with you. Great for the kids. Great for gifting. These ones are all inclusive, right? So you get ink. You got the ink spot. You get your own block. You get your own adhesives. You get your stamp set. And then you also have the stamp set and the ink for later. Uh, they're awesome. Love them. All right. Enjoy your garden of thanks. Take care, everyone. Bye.